We are replumbing this entire building. You can see the new drain lines come in here. Another branch will come down to this point. And this is the original exit point for the sewer. Now you can see that it goes out to the sewer right here, but there is a house trap. And we could actually make that go away because we don't want to have it by code anymore. So we could tie onto it. But the tipping point for us to really say, let's get rid of it, was actually the water main right here. This is a galvanized steel line going out to the street, and that can be clogged down to nothing. So this was a perfect opportunity for us to open it up and replace both the waste and the water for the next 100 years. So Jesse Warren and his crew are doing our site work today. How are you? Good, thank you. Oh, oh, it's always an exciting day when we dig the street. Absolutely, it's absolutely. normal day for you, though, right? It is normal day. <laughs> yeah. Look inside the old steel pipe. I mean, it was uh, not pretty, so I'm glad we got rid of it. No, it's choked right down. So what you've done is you adapted onto the corporation with a compression connection, new copper. Here's the curb stop uh, right at the curb. Transition to plastic, so you are good to go. Oh, you could tie onto this right here. Right. That's it. Yep. That's it. Good job. You guys are total pros. You're very welcome. Good All right. I'll let you backfill it. I'll get out of your hair. You can see at the end of our street is the Merrimack River teeming with wildlife. And you might ask, how does a seaside town like Newburyport deal with its wastewater? Well, I got a behind the scenes look. Welcome, Richard, to the Newburyport Wastewater Treatment well, Facility. Nice, nice to be here. Chris, you are the superintendent. Well, I'm excited to get backstage at these kind of places. Well, welcome. So, Richard, in 1889, the first sewer collection system was, was developed and constructed in Newburyport. And that system came down into our driveway here and came all the way down our driveway, yep. right out into the Merrimack River. With pitch right into the river. Yep. Raw sewage, that existed for about 50 years, up until 1951, and then a primary treatment plant was constructed here, which was basically settling and disinfection. Sure. And then in 1979, more modern day secondary biologic process was added and constructed. And that's basically what we have today. That's a really good thing you're doing here, making sure you're not going into the river anymore. So take me through the process. Where does it all start? So it starts at the headworks. So all the wastewater is collected throughout the system through pipes and pumps, and it comes into the facility right here. It's underneath here. our feet right here, yeah. yeah. It's the raw sewage that comes in, and here we screen out all the stuff that we can't treat in the biologic process. Right, so that's the inorganic stuff. You can only right. treat the organics. Correct. Rags, so grit, what? wipes. Oh, uh, so soap. that's the flushable wipes. The and flushable the wipes. wipes that, yes, they're flushable, but you really shouldn't flush them. You can't really, break them down. Really a problem. So where do they go? So all this material gets goes into a compactor, we squeeze the water out of it. And it goes, goes out, out this pipe. This pipe, and it goes into a bin. So here we are in the heart of the biologic process or the activated sludge process. Here we add air They're right. in these completely mixed tanks. Yeah. We adjust the pH and the alkalinity. And the purpose of that is to give the bacteria and the microorganisms a healthy environment so they can do the work for us. They love that oxygen. Exactly. And when they're healthy, they actually settle out, which is depicted right here in the sample oh, yeah. that we brought out. The bugs, those happy bugs from the oxygen, yep. ate all that solids and settled it down to this point. And now what you're going to do is actually take some of that water and make it for further treatment, and the sludge goes this way. Yep. So here at the treatment plant, we have two products. One is the clean water that we send out to the Merrimack yep. River, and the other is the sludge or the waste that we actually extract. That comes out off of the, the bottom, yeah. Correct. And what that sludge that we saw on the bottom gets pumped into this building where we dewater it. We basically squeeze it under pressure. Oh, that's number two. Yep. We squeeze it under pressure. It goes into a solid cake form. You can see it oh, yeah, coming there off it there. Yeah. Okay, from, so it comes to yep, here. Come from here, and then? goes through conveyors, goes out and gets conveyed into the next room. So here we're at the final stop on the solids process. This is our final cake. This is made into fertilizer and compost and reused. That's great. So this is the next to the last step in the treatment process. Here the sludge is settled out, the clean water comes off the top, goes over the weirs, yep. goes down to the next step. Looks like you're skimming off any yep. remaining grease that wouldn't have yep. broken down. A little down. bit of grease or scum that gets skimmed off and gets recycled back to it's the looking pretty the good. So the last process is actually two steps. One, we chlorinate the wastewater to disinfect. And then at the end, we actually take the chlorine back out because that makes the fish happy out in the river. Good. Keep them fish happy. 
So this is the clean water that we're going to be sending out to the Merrimack. Let's see how you did, my friend. So. Look at that. I'm not sure I'm thirsty, but that looks pretty good. Those fish are going to be happy. Yes, sir. So Richard, now you can see where we are. We're right at the mouth of the Merrimack River. Look at this. We discharge out into the bay here, and it flows out into the Atlantic Ocean. So for 70 some odd years, we've been discharging clean water out into the bay, creating a real healthy ecosystem. Right. And you got clam beds and everything out here, right? Absolutely. Well, that is impressive, I tell you. So is there anything left on your wish list here? Anything you want to try to do differently? I think down the road, we would like to eliminate our chlorine product and go to ultraviolet disinfection. Right, well, I wish you the best on that, and I really appreciate the tour. It's been really informative. Thank you, my Thanks, pleasure. Thanks, Chris, good job. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.